my loves and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a try on and review of the Dermacol uh, Waterproof Foundation. And I'm a little skeptical about this one. I got this on Amazon. Let's pop it open. And it says it's waterproof, waterproof and SPF 30. And they say that this is very, very pigmented and full coverage. So, how much did I pay for this? Well, I'll put how much I paid for it right here. But I'm pretty sure it was very inexpensive. It's very difficult to pick the shades because it doesn't seem to show you like the shade color on there either. I picked up, which shade is this? I got it in color 222 from what it looked. That's probably around the right shade. So let's hope, but not really sure. And it comes in this really nice, like I do like the packaging. It's very pretty. It comes in this like mm, kind of it feels like matted, but it's got the glitter um, and it's very, very, you know, it's very nice packaging. It really is. Um, don't know how I feel about the squeezy tube. Um, and the cap comes with like a little tip so that you could open this up. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off, but you just use the cap to kind of puncture it and now you can use the product. And I have some product here, so I'm gonna try to get that off and see if this is, oh, it's pretty close. That's a tiny little bit. Let's put some more on the back of my hands so I can show you. Put it on the wrong side. <laughs> so here is what it looks like. And it seems to be a very good color. Let's see. Yeah, that's actually a great color for me. Um, I'm just going to start putting this on my face. Maybe a little bit light. Maybe. Who knows. But I'm going to use a brush today because I actually don't know where my um, beauty sponge is. So we're going to use a brush and I'm just going to take a little bit more. That might be a lot, but who knows. They say that this is full coverage, so that's why I think it might be a lot. So let me grab a little foundation brush. I'm going to use this for my foundation today. This is my, Mor my, this is my Morphe. Um, little stipple brush, um, the dual fiber stipple brush, and I'm going to use this and I'm going to kind of dampen it. I like to dampen these brushes. And I'm just going to start to blend everything in. I'm going to kind of spread that big chunk that I put there out. and. Yeah, this, just gonna move my mirror a little bit closer. This seems to be really, really full coverage, so they might be correct on that one. Yeah, it's definitely covering up a few um, little, you know, pimples that are arising because it's that time of the month, you know? Mm. The color match might be a little tiny bit light. Not really 
it's matching my neck kind of maybe a little bit late but not really an issue once I put on some bronzer so I'm kind of glad because I ordered this with my own money um, so that's always a good thing if I can reuse it if not I would just give it away to a family member but it works so from the looks of it it looks like like yeah this is definitely too light from what you can see there um, so yeah this might be like my winter color but it's full coverage um, I think this might be a little bit better if I would have used a beauty sponge because it does look a little bit splotchy and yeah I definitely probably used too much but let's see if this can be used also as concealer So, yeah, it definitely can be used as concealer, like for me. My under eye circles aren't too bad. What I will do is, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. I'm gonna use my Airspun powder by Cody. It's upside down and dirty. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and set everything with this powder. I can already see it, like, getting really crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Once you put some powder on this, it definitely looks really pretty. Um, I really like that, actually. foundation actually looks really, really pretty when you set it. Two hours later. Okay, so it's been a while since I've had the foundation on. Um, I'm pretty sure I started this video around two-ish, and it's currently almost four. So it's been a while, um, and the foundation definitely has not completely set. It came off a little bit on my fingers right there. Um, so, do I think it's gonna, you know, rub off or whatever? Do I think this is waterproof? Probably not if it's rubbing off with the touch of a finger. It should have set already. Um, especially since I put powder. Yeah. Like, still getting a whole bunch. It's just, you know, I had blue on there and it rubbed off on the blue. So definitely don't like the fact that it hasn't completely set. Um, does it look pretty? Yes. Um, let me get really close up here. Um, fix this. Yeah, it definitely looks very pretty. I really, really like how it looks on my skin. Very, very pretty. Um, but does do all of those claims really pen out? I doubt it, especially because it's rubbing off with the touch of a finger and this is supposed to be waterproof. But I'm going to continue wearing this for a few more hours and we will see.
I'll be back. Later. Hey, you guys, I am back. So, I have spent several hours. It is currently 8.46 at night, and it's been a few hours since I applied this makeup and, you know, went off and did other things. Um, currently, this makeup is... It looks great on camera, I'll tell you that. Um, and if you're not looking at, at it from too close, it looks really good. Um, it did rub off on my nose, I wear glasses. I was wearing sunglasses earlier and all that other whatnot. But yeah, it actually has rubbed off in places where my glasses weren't sitting. Um, I might have like rubbed my nose or something, but it like rubbed off from here to here, so that's kind of strange. Um, other than that, it does look a little bit greasy and cakey, and it doesn't look like it oxidized too much, which is also a kind of good thing if you can find the right color, so that's awesome, but yeah. Other than that, I think I would use this again, just because it's really good coverage. Um, it's it, I think this would actually be great to wear with like a smoky eye, where you don't want all of your imperfections to be showing. And my glasses back on because I'm squinting now. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, um, you know the fact that it's looking a little cakey now, um, and you know it is kind of because I kind of I crease my forehead so it's seeping into the creases of my forehead but pretty sure all of my foundations kind of do that so not surprised but other than that um, I would I would rewear this product um, highly recommend it for um, people who have you know trouble skin um, and want to cover it up because a little is going to go a very long way for you guys. But yeah, um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this too. Blah, blah, blah. I hope you got. <sighs> okay, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this review of the Dermacol Foundation. Um, great and expensive product. Um, please comment down below if you like these types of videos, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!